Good afternoon. I hope we're all having a nice weekend so far. Uh, welcome back. I am Lutra FM, and where you left us off last in our rover, in the Rave Rover safe, we are currently um, fifty-four points, and we're currently top. We lost one game, and that was my fault because I rotated the team, and we lost. And if we had a full team, we'd have probably won. So I'm not happy with that because I wanted to go all season in the league with unbe unbeaten. Uh, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but yeah, we're 22 points clear of them and um, we've got a game ahead of them as well. Um, Transfer-wise, unfortunately, Emil Hoyland's loan finished, and we couldn't get him to sign a contract with us, so he left, and then we tried to sign him, he wouldn't have it, so he's going to Braga, so good luck to him. Maybe we might be able to get him on loan in January when he transfers, but we'll, we'll see in a minute, but... Oh, pardon me. Um, yeah, but we'll see. If not, we're going to have to look at bringing in um, another striker because we are a bit short on the firepower, but we, we need to prioritise wing-backs as well because Alioski and Faye are both leaving because their work permits were not going to be renewed. So... And I'm really, really good about Faye because I really, I think he's he's, he's probably my favourite player other than Lewis Vaughan at the moment. So yeah, so hopefully Lewis Vaughan will be back soon enough because we definitely need him up front. Uh, they're offering us players that we don't need in positions like this. We don't need midfielders, attacking midfielders. We're all right for them. Right, we've got Aberdeen in the first game of the episode. Uh, thanks again, as always, for subscribing, watching the videos. Much appreciated. I'm getting a lot of returning viewers, so it, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. So thank you. I hope you, you're still liking the content. Let me know in the comments section um, if you're not. And yeah, so we'll play Aberdeen, and then we've got the, tran the January transfer window to deal with. And we've got some certain positions that we need to fill. I'm hoping the DOF does it for me. So I don't have to do it. Come on. Really slow today on here. I don't know why. It's taking ages to process through the days. All right. So this will be Colin Faye's and Alioski's last game, I think. I could be wrong. But um, they've been excellent players for us. We're going to sorely miss them. So um, now Rocky is injured. So we've got Corin at the moment. And then it's pretty much an unchanged team from the last game. Let's see how we get on against Aberdeen. Hopefully we'll beat them. We are going to miss, we are going to miss Hoyland's. Goals though, because I think he got like 19 goals for us this season, which is amazing considering it's not even January yet. So we'll be sorely missed. I might have to look at the loan market to bring in another striker, the, the same quality as Hoyland. So we'll see. Right, Faye, beautiful cross. Kinder should have done better with that. What's Faye's crossing like? Uh, a 14 crossing, so there you go. Right, quiet so far in this first half. Okay, they've got a throw in. They've got a player called Shaka, unbelievable. Shaka, 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 Shaka Khan. Quite an even game so far by the looks of it. Right. Let's see if the second half is better than the first half because this has been a very boring game for you lot. And I can only apologise. 
can only do so much there to the players at the end of there. Right, Ball, Lopez, beautiful pass, Faye, lovely, oh, oh nearly. Lopez showed great anticipation there. Right, we might have to take some players off in a minute. Alioski's not playing well. Musky's not playing well. Let's just see. Yeah, right, time to put some subs on. Right, so Muskwe, you can come off and we'll put Maldini up front. Then again, I know we're stressing about Hoyland. We could play Maldini up front if, Mas if Muskwe doesn't start performing well there. Right, come on, let's get a goal. Let's not concede though. Good save, keeper. Oh, apparently he's took a knock, so we're going to take him off. Once this highlight's over, Ruse with the goal kick. Intercepted by Danda. Cliche to Kinder. Kinder to Danda. Dander to Faye. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, he got a penalty though. Did he? Yeah, penalty. Dander. So at least uh, Faye contributed last game of the last game he was here. So at least there's that. Dander with his sixth goal of the season. Is Deli Ali on the subs bench? Yeah, he is. So we take off. Let's take off Dander, even though he scored the goal, and we'll put on Deli Ali for the last bit of the game. Right, 1 0. Let's get another goal. Aberdeen, no slouches. I'm amazed they're in the championship. They're only just in the playoffs as well. I mean, they're going to be in the playoffs by the looks of it. I can't imagine them not being. But there's no guarantee they'll, they'll get promoted with, with us, hopefully with us. We're 20 points clear, so I'm pretty confident we're going to uh, get promoted win the championship. Right, and that's the end of that. Nice way to start the episode. Come on. Really lagging today. I mean, I've been recording these videos for the last couple of days. Really slow on the uptake. Uh, right, Ruse is out for 10, uh, 10 to 13 days. See, another position we don't need. Right, I need to do some recruitment uh, if we're not doing already. I need to get the recruitment team to concentrate on certain positions. It lets me. There we go. Right, scouting, recruitment focus. Um, yeah, we probably could do with another goalkeeper if we can afford it. Not the top of priorities though. There we go. Let's see if we can get him in. Um, Europe. That one. And then... Uh, no, hold on. I need to do it like... Oh, I'm getting all over the place. I'm all over the place at the moment. Uh, that's it. Create recruitment focus. Sorry. That one. Top priority. Ah, we've got too many tasks. So, what I'll do is get rid of these. Right, now can we do it? Yeah, there we go. Good. Top priority. Uh, yeah, we'll do transfer and loan, and then we'll do the same for left back. Top priority. We'll do that, and then uh, we'll get rid of that for now. And we'll go striker. 
again, top priority. So what we'll do in the meantime is we'll get rid of Scotland, UK, Ireland, and France. So there you go. Makes it a little bit easier for our scouting team to prioritize them positions. Right, O'Connell's gone on loan. Sorry, got itchy, itchy beard. Anybody with a beard will understand what I'm going through. Right, so O'Connell's gone out on loan. Come on, taking ages today. What's going on? I'm sorry about this, everyone. Has there been a new update for FM today as of the 6th of the 6th of February as I'm recording this? Okay, can we sign Oxford on a free transfer? Because he'd be a very good upgrade. Yes, we can. Good. He definitely would be a very good upgrade on what we've got in the centre of defence. <clears throat> Maybe it's something on doing. Maybe it's, is it detail level? No. That's weird. I don't know why it's running slow all of a sudden. Normally I would holiday. I think I'm going to holiday this actually, to be honest. Uh, if it lets me. Come on. Right. I'll, um, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back. Um, it took us a while to holiday through that for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, we're through. We're, uh, we're over that hurdle. Transfer window has started. Charlie O'Connell's gone alone. We've signed this player here. Good um, backup option on either side of centre defence. Alioski has left us, unfortunately. Um, I will add him to the shortlist. I will look to bring him back, hopefully. Okay, so we can't sign him. Uh, I'm going to reject these because we're very low on centre-backs at the moment. Uh, I'll leave Clichy because he's getting old. There's no point criticising his training. I win the manager of the month. Uh, that's a shame. So I don't think we're going to get that Valesco. do with promoting him to the first team as well just to be on the safe side no I'm not removing them uh, Kinder not happy I changed his squad status but I've convinced him otherwise so uh, let's just buy that uh, we've got Greenick Morton next. Oh, we did manage to get him. That's good. He's going to be a decent one. How did it? How did we get on with Reese Oxford? Maybe I oh know still going. Hopefully, we can sign him, and then we'll have a decent centre back pairing next season. Because um, obviously Warner and and Naraki are on loan, so they. Probably won't be back for uh, next season. Right then, so Swanson makes his debut. Uh, Ruse in goal and also Velasco makes his debut as well. Faye is right back, so has Faye not gone yet? He is meant to go though. When's he meant to go? Oh, the 15th. So we've got him for another couple of weeks. So at least we've got Faye for a few more weeks at least. Um, Fleck and Ball in the field. Lopez, Dander and Maldini. And then Musgrave up front. I 
I feel like Swanson will be a decent enough. Is he good at crossing though? We'll find out in a minute. First highlight of the game to Greenwich Morton. We don't have a good track record against Greenwich Morton. Especially when they've got that J Quin uh Quintonko, whatever his name is. Quintongo. Something like that. Right, they've got possession now. Oh, that's it. Oh for God's sake. I want to click on Swanson. All right. Hopefully this will lead to a goal. Faye. It does. Get in, Dander. Dander is uh, stepping up this later part of the season. He's starting to uh, do really well. Right, let's have a look. Swanson, what's his crossing like? Uh, he's not very good at crossing. We need to look at getting a better attacking fullback, I think. Someone like like what Faye was, but on the left. Oh, nearly caught the keeper off there. One nil. We will be twenty four points ahead at this point if we win this game. Bearing in mind though that Dublin has got uh, an extra game with us. So far, Lopez and Dander and Maldini probably been the key players in this team. Dominic Ball as well in this game. Let's see how we get on in the second half. It's a bit hard to fill space. Um, when nothing's happening in the game, so I apologise if there are quiet moments. Right, Warner and Velesco are knackered. Actually, literally everybody in defence is knackered by the looks of it. Faye, we'll take you off if we can. No, we can't. We'll just have to take our centre backs off then. Court, Warner can come off and Dice can come on. And then let's see where we are. Fabino, maybe? No. Put Gleeshy in there. Gleeshy, not Gleeshy. What am I about? Lopez coming off as well. Right, less than 10 minutes to go. Let's get another goal. Kinder. Uh, own goal. Own goal? Yeah. Cami Valentine, own goal. I've seen quite a few own goals in the last couple of episodes. I've seen more own goals than I've done. In all of the previous episodes in the last couple one. I think there's been a new update for FM and I think it's done that. Right. Uh I won't holiday, we'll just we'll just process it as it is. Um let's have a look and see what they're recommending. Him. Can we sign you? Maybe we can sign you. Right. Um, what about him as well? We've got the money. We can do that. Uh, right. Let's see what the left back position is offering us. Right. It's just him. Fermin. Not too bad at crossing. Balanced. Him as the left back and then Swanson as cover maybe. Oh, here we go. Oh, for God's sake. Just let me shift some of this over to here. Oh. Right, we're not going to be signing any players. Hand over to John Potter, hand over to John Potter. We ain't going to be able to sign them. Ah, typical, right. No. We are screwed. So 
improve the training facilities. Right, let's see if I can improve the wage budget. Probably not. Um, it's so annoying that we can't shift some of that budget because the only way we can get around the wages then is to use the transfer budget to release some of the players that we've got. We've got to get we've got to get rid of like ten grand's worth of wages here. Right, let's look at contracts. Go up to here. Uh, I really didn't want to do that. He was really good for us. Tinder, you're annoying me. You, you sent the whole team against me now. Uh, let's have a look at dynamics. These two are going. See, four disagree and four agree. So, uh, do you know what? I'll just change him back. These are star players. Oh, I don't understand these flipping players sometimes. All right. We've took that down. But obviously, the players that we tried to go for, we can't go for for a while now because they're just going to automatically agree. See, now he drops it because he's, oh, these pampered football players drive me mad. So we're going to have an fan day soon. So hopefully that will encourage more people to come watch us. Uh, we don't need a DM midfielder. Let's see what else they offer us, because obviously we can't go for him now. Maybe we can go for him. He's not as good, though. Mm. Let's have a look at the near matches. No. In progress. No. Um. Oh, we've got another one coming up. Sign in. Scottish as well. Young, only 19. That's good. We can get him in. So at least that's left back position sorted, I think. In theory. Praise Lopez and Dander. Right, let's have a look at what the strikers' options are for us. Dale Taylor, twenty-one years old. He'd be a good, he'd be a good striker, I think. Cheap as well. Cole Joseph, Scottish player as well. So we'll leave that. So we've got the strikers sorted. We got any more options for left, right back? We need to just get right back in now, and I think we'll be all right for the rest of the season. I reckon. Maybe him. He's a free transfer as well. Sorted. Now nah, we can't afford both, but. At least we've got a striker in, we've got potential right back in, and depending on the work permit, obviously, and uh, we've got a left back in. Ah, that's a shame. Reese Oxford's gone to Verde Bremen. I don't blame him. Much better club than we are. All right, we're, we're going to improve the training facilities, which is good. We've got more percentage in the money that we get for sales. All right, let's just skip this ahead as quickly as we can now. Is he any good? Mm. Mm, probably not. Oh, actually, mm, 18. Oh, I mean, I know it's only 11 and the Might be a good option on the bench, I suppose. Oh, Braga bloody going in for a pissing left back. That means we're going to have to try and find somebody else. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to holiday until the Inverness game, and then I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode.
and we're back for the final part of the episode. And uh, Dorothy's gone on loan for a month. We'll he might be an option as centre back, but we might not be able to do it for a while. We are not selling Dylan Core. I I wish. How do we automatically stop people making offers? There we go. This is what we'll do. Sell for asking price. So hopefully that I will stop these idiots with offering me pittance for him. He's out for seven weeks anyway, so we'll be able to sign for anybody in the window. Uh, Aaron Presley. Maybe. Right. Uh, a couple of Portuguese teams after him. I don't think we're going to be able to sign him. I'll be amazed if we do. I don't think it's going to happen. Right, Martinez. Let's look. Let's look to try and move you on. In fact, let's just move to agree to terminate your contract. Irwin's come into the club. He'll be an emergency backup striker. We're going for this gentleman here. Uh, defensive midfielder. Not exactly the position we need. Right, Dale Taylor's in. So that's good. Gives us um, a good option up front uh, for Vaughan and Musquey. Gal Cleese is out for a few days. Yep, we can get rid of that now. Right, Martinez is out the door. Frees up a bit of wage for him. How are we doing for our wages now? So we're exactly on budget now. So we can maybe go slightly over. See if we can improve the youth recruitment. Hopefully we can. The board seem quite good actually. They seem to be quite agreeable on a lot of the things I asked for. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. So Fabino's gone. Good luck in your career. We've got a work permit for Pablo Henrique. So uh, we've got Ruse in goal, Fayez right back, Lesko and Warner is in defence, Swanson on the left, Fleck and Ball in the middle of midfield, Lopez on the right, Maldini in the middle, Kinder on the left and Musquey up front. And we've got Irwin on the switch bench. Let's see how we do. I hope you're all having a nice weekend by the way. Any let me know in the comments section if you've got any uh, anything planned for the weekend. Are you going to be doing celebrating Valentine's Day this weekend or are you going to wait till next week? Let me know. Uh, right, let's see how we get on. Nil-nil so far. Inverness currently third in the league. We got 61 points. Dunfermline we've got 38, so that is... I think we've got 23 points lead on them. Lovely little play there. Oh, that was a poor finish, Musquey. Why is Dale Taylor not playing anyway? Oh, he's not even on the side. Maybe he's not in, He's not uh, ready yet. Might be injured. Or not match fit, maybe. Maybe Irwin will get a, a run out at some point if Musquey doesn't start performing. Okay, not the best of first halves. Let's try and demand a bit more. We've been dominant, we just haven't been able to score yet. Here we go, that might change. Maldini with the corner. Oh, nearly. Who's not been performing well? Kinder and Maldini's not been performing well. Uh, Fay and 
There we go. One nil. Good, good, good. All right. Velasco's knackered, so we'll take him off. Oh, we are short on. Oh, there he is. Andrew Stewart's making his debut at 16 years old. Hopefully, he'll perform well. This is the problem with this with this save because you only get a certain amount of wage budget and you can't shift the transfer budget into the wage budget. Which is really frustrating because it's there. That's what it should be like. Any other save I've had, you've been able to do it. So I don't understand why you can't do it with Red Rovers. Maybe it's a Scottish League thing. I don't know. Lopez. So Faye. Faye with a beautiful cross. Right. Let's take off Kinder. Lewis Vaughan's back. Swanson's tired, so we will put on you. And then we'll put you on. Put you in on, making his debut 20 minutes to go. Hopefully, he might get us a goal. Yeah, Stuart is. So we've got Andrew Stewart, he's 16 years old, making his debut. It's a daunting task for him, but hopefully he can uh, gain confidence from this. Because ideally I want to try and get some of these young prospects in the first team as quick as possible. So um, that way it saves us having to buy somebody. Right, 10 minutes to go, let's see what we can do. Let's get another goal. Kill this game off. No, by the looks of it, it's going to end 1-0, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, we've got one more highlight. Vaughan. No. Irwin nearly scored, I think, but couldn't finish it off. Right. That's not bad. 1-0. Um, right. Well, uh, we'll do one more game and that'll be the end of this episode. Let's just get through these next seven days. Oh, Andrew Stewart, why do I bloody send him out on loan? We're definitely short on centre backs now. Uh, we need to do a new recruitment focus, don't we? Recruitment focus, there we go. Centre back. Top priority. And we'll get rid of Germany, Argentina, Brazil. Yep, Stuart. So we're breaking more records. Um, so it's a new record in the Great Rovers. History making season this season. Deli Alley's back. We signed this guy who's coming in on the 1st of July. Faye will be leaving us soon, unfortunately. We've just seen that come up. There we go. We've managed to convince the board to improve the youth recruitment. We're going to have an increased transfer budget next season of 6.3. So we're uh, extensive in our uh, youth recruitment. Why can't you let see? Let me go this way, but you won't let me go that way. It must be something to do with the Scottish League, isn't it? Like a like a maximum. Yeah, I think it is. In fact, it will probably tell me on here when it competitions championship rules. Transfer window, contract renewals, no, loan rules, work permit rules. Let's have a quick look at the work permit rules first. Point system, so international appearances, league appearance, click on it, okay. So that's why some of them go through and some of them don't. Same with that. Contract renewal, so that's why we have the issue with Faye and Alioski not getting the work permits. Nations treated as non-foreign, all nations in the UK and Ireland, all overseas territories and nations. Players from European Union will deemed non 
foreign as long as their current contract starts before. So that's good. It doesn't tell us about the wage structure. That's annoying. Okay. Add him to the shortlist. That can we loan him in? Let's see if we can loan him. No, we can't. Well, if we offer you that, that's way too much anyway. Uh, he's got first team commitments. Okay, they won't lend. They won't send us out to him anyway. Can we get you in? A free agent. Bit of South American class left back. Got good overall attributes. He'd be a good goalkeeper. Let's add him to the shortlist. Uh, he'd be a good defender. Can we get him on loan? Hmm. Well, if we offer you that. No, no, we can't. We'll add you to the shortlist though. Uh, we don't need him, but we'll sign him anyway. No, we won't. No, we won't. Too high of a wage. It will take us over our budget again. We're going to have to really think about our transfers now. Maybe it will be different when we're in the Scottish Premiership. I hope it is. Stephen Kingsley. Good player, actually, to be honest. He'd be a good option as centre-back and left-back. Right, he's five next game in the Scottish Cup fourth round. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to call this episode to an end, and then tomorrow's episode will be um, covering the Scottish Cup final next round and most of the January transfer window. So yeah, so thank you to everyone for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow. All the best, bye.